Uh, uh, the control room basically is your, uh, is, allows your operators the ability to test uh, the operations of a system and to check how the system is operating, both in terms of uh, instrument performance as well as the quality of the data that's coming out at any time. So on a system like CAT7, we have of the order of about 4,000 sensors actively being sampled at any time on the system. And these 4,000 sensors give you information from the temperature of various components, the amount of current that's flowing through a part of the circuit, whether or not a certain door has been opened so you know whether somebody's inside a certain part of the system. Uh, that is significant, by the way, because uh, the amount of RFI, the radio frequency interference, the noise that disrupts our system, uh, can be greatly influenced by whether or not someone opens or closes a door because that allows this noise to creep inside and disturb our system. So up here on the sort of big screen, we have a, like a color-coded... Uh, overview of the status of the system. What we're hoping for here is either green or pink. Uh, if something's green, it means it's working. If it's pink, it means we are busy working on it, and so therefore the status is pretty much undefined at any time. So things that you don't want to see are the reds, like something's really wrong. Yellow, it's in warning, but there's something to be worried about, but uh, you can track it a little bit later. And if it goes into blue, then there's a clear problem between our communications between us and the site. Bear in mind that we're sitting here in Cape Town, and site which is you know you know a good thousand odd kilometres away is uh, you know is, is totally divorced from us, and so uh, we have a live feed to, you know, just to give us a visual representation of what's going on, so we can see what it's just before ten o'clock on a, on a Wednesday morning. It's a lovely sort of calm Karoo day, clear sunshine, you know, clear sky, sunshine, and so on. Um, the, the visual representation is just a way for us to you know get, get an idea of, of of what things are actually happening on site. And that just gives you, you know, you can see if people are there, if the antennas are doing kind of what you want them to do and so on. In terms of the actual control of the system, um, uh, a, an observation is basically set up of a set of instructions that tell the dish to point at certain radio objects. So basically what you're doing here is you're wanting the dishes to capture the, the radio signal from either stars or galaxies or any other source that you may be interested in. Um, the order in which these... Um, targets get observed is predetermined before the observation and, and it involves um, mostly a calibration type system. Bear in mind that these receivers are sensitive not only to the radio signals from the target of interest but also other things. Uh, the atmosphere itself distorts the signal, the ground itself. Uh, the other dishes for example, if you happen to be pointing one dish at another, it's going to be giving off radio signals and that's going to be picked up. So interleaved between the target that you constantly want to observe are observations of reference sources. So an, a typical observation is a switching between a target and a known source where you know the behavior. And effectively, those calibrators allow you, you, these are targets that have been observed by other observatories, other telescopes, and by ourselves in the past. And we have a fair understanding of how that system, how that star behaves. And so we observe that. We use that signal to characterize all the dynamics of the system. We then point to our target of interest, remove all the dynamics of the system, and then what's left is the target of interest and the bit of information that we want to see. So a typical script will involve sort of switching backwards and forwards. And so, for example, over here you can see a, a, a typical sort of text output, you know, tracking target going from one target to the next, to the next, to the next. And it spends of the order of, you know, uh, sort, of, sort of 300 seconds, or what's that, a couple of minutes on a target gathering the data. And what do we talk about when we talk about data? Well, it's not a snapshot picture. We, we generate, for example, this. This is a real live time stream of the radio spectrum coming out from the receivers. And, and basically that tells us for any frequency what the signal strength is coming in. Uh, for the kind of observation that we're doing right now, we hope to see that that signal will be flat. Um, these yellow lines that you see occurring over here, the system has detected as RFI signal, so in other words, there's some something's radiating in and around the environment that has been contaminated by our system, and our automatic detection system is picking up that it's, it's, it's causing a problem. And basically, your operator's task, monitor those, see that there aren't any issues, check to see that the order of the observations are going in is correct and that everything happened, and obviously continually monitor the health screen to check that the system is, is performing the way that it should.